Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to give you a little overview of a neat digital portfolio tool called Spaces. This is a new digital portfolio tool and it has a couple of really neat features that I think you're going to like. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here we are and I'm going to go ahead and log into the account that I created. Now you can see here you can log in using your email address and a password or you can sign up using your email address and password or as you saw on that previous screen there you can use your Google account. So I'm going to sign up my Google account here. And now I'm going to create a new classroom. You can see here I have one class that's Mr. Burns class but I want to create a new class altogether. So let's go here and add a class and we'll call this one Mr. Burns afternoon class. And we'll select a grade level here. Let's say I'm going to do this for my 11th grade class. And let's put in a sample student. And now you can see here I can invite students via Google Classroom if I want to, or I can just hit this add class button. And I'm going to use that function of add class. Now, the next thing I want to do, of course, is get students into my classroom. And there's a couple of ways we can go about doing that. Let's go here to the people section. And you'll see there's my sample student. I want to invite more students. So let's hit that button. And you can see here, we again have the option for Google Classroom or we can use a class link. I like that we can reset that link. So if you only want to have that link active for a couple of days and then use a new one later on, you can do that. Or you can see here, we can use a class code, which again, you can reset if you want to as well. So let's use this class link option and see how a student can now join my class. So let's do that right now. We're going to use that class link and you can see here my student can sign in with their first name last name or they can sign in with a Google account and in this case here we're going to use one of my dogs use my dog Mason and he'll join this class And so there's Mason, he's now in the class. Now obviously nothing has been posted yet for the class, but let's add one more demo student in here. So I'm gonna close that out and we're gonna use that process one more time. Use that link. I'm gonna have another student join. Let's go ahead and sign in with the Google account. And this time, We'll use my dog Max, and he's going to sign in as one of the students in this class. And so now you can see there are my students, and still nothing has been posted in this feed. So next we're going to look at how you can post things for your students. Let's go here to this feed button, and let's create our first post. And let's say we want to just do a little welcome message with text. Say, welcome to class. This is where you will see updates from me. And we're going to use this space as a place for you to share examples of your work. You can see here, we can add other items to this post. You can see here, I can take a picture, I can record audio, I can attach files, I can pull things from my Google Drive, or simply put in a hyperlink to a web page. Let's hit next. 
and that's going to be for my afternoon class. And I'm going to let all students see that. So I'll post that, and there's the welcome message. And now, we'll take a look at what the student sees when they are viewing this space. So a student will now see this message right here from me, and they can write back and say, hi. But they can also use the built-in audio tool. They can just click on that. Hi, Mr. Byrne. I'm so happy to be in your class. And there's a little audio message that they can now leave for me. Next, let's take a look at what Spaces really does, which is provide a place for your students to share their work and to collaborate with each other as well. We'll do that in the next video in this series.